Peggy 18. Mike Laidlaw, lead designer for Dragon Age 2, and today we're going to take a look at some PC gameplay and the two different ways you can play Dragon Age 2, as an action RPG adjusting your strategy on the fly, or with a more considerate pause and play approach issuing your orders tactically. Let's take a look. So let's take a look at how Dragon Age 2 plays if you tackle it like an action RPG. If you want to play in real time, you can absolutely do so. The rogue really shines here, able to move quickly around the battlefield, get into position, and separate out enemies. Of course, once you get into the thick of things, you'll notice you can fluidly move between characters. Mages, of course, shine when groups are clustered, while a stealth character can deliver vast amounts of damage from the safety of shadows. And with the enemies torn to pieces, it's just a matter of switching back to Hawk to pick up the stragglers. So you've seen how Dragon Age 2 plays as an action RPG, but what happens if we take the same situation and play it more tactically, pausing to issue orders? Let's find out. With the game paused, let's take a look at our situation. We have enemies that are going to move forward towards Aveline, our tank, so what we'll do is taunt them to ensure they cluster up around her. At the same time, we'll lay down a clever trap using a glyph of paralysis that should hold the majority of them in place. While we're at it, we have two groups of archers in the back, so using both of our rogues, we're going to toss miasmic flasks to stun them, taking them out of the fight for a short period of time as well. The enemy's approaching, they hit the trigger. Perfect, they've fallen into our trap like we expected. And now we're able to cut down the back ranks, using our archer to eliminate theirs while they're stunned. The tank, of course, Aveline, can move in and start dishing out damage while the defenses are down on the paralyzed foes. Now that they're gathered up, let's take a look at the situation as it's evolved. Switching to Hawk, you'll notice that the enemies are all kind of standing in a row, perfect for a knockdown attack, which will scatter them off their feet and unable to move out of a rain of arrows that Varric will lay down over the battlefield. And there it is. Now switching back to our mage, we register the enemies are starting to weaken. We're going to use a top tier mage ability, Firestorm, raining down from the heavens to eliminate the last of our foes. So this is just an example of how a well-coordinated team can deal with an encounter where they're vastly outnumbered. So there you have it. Dragon Age 2 can be played with the smooth, responsive controls of an action RPG, or more tactically, pausing and controlling your actions that way, or of course, any combination of the two. Thanks for watching.